sorry. <laughs> How clumsy of me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, do I know you? No, we never made it. Um, Rihanna? Rihanna. You can call me Ishmael. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> I think the drinks are included on the wine tour. <laughs> right. Gentle attention getter. Greetings and welcome to the La Bouffe Estate, Northern California's most premier biodynamic vineyard. I'm the estate's winemaker. Did you remember to shut the garage door? <laughs> Ishmael, that's an odd thing to say on a first date, don't you think? <laughs> Wine and Spirits magazine recently recognized our coveted organic wines. Just taste this Pinot Grigio. I'm sorry, Abby, but I don't want to deal with those goddamn raccoons getting into the trash cans again. And drowning those no good sons of bitches is not a carnival. You can quite literally taste Claire's hands. Claire is our primary grape picker. It's closed, all right? Now, if everyone will follow me, we will continue on on our wine tasting adventure. Please gently carry your four ounce tasting glasses by its stem and careful, for they are your savor vessels. Mm. Just taste the inactive volcanic soil. So, Ishmael, <laughs> is there no Mrs. Ishmael? Oh no, I've been a bachelor practically my whole life. Just me and my cat. Tull. How about you? <laughs> My first husband died during the war. Which war? I'd like to take this moment to gently mirror your affection and... Consent. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes we have a hard time keeping our hands off each other in public. No, it's completely beautiful. <laughs> you are both so bewitching. Hi, I'm Monica. And this is my life partner. Manica. Wow, Monica and Manica? I took her name, uh, her first name. <laughs> well, I'm Rhiannon, and this here's Ishmael. We actually just met, but I feel such a closeness. This 2012 Pinot Blanc was partially aged in French oak for a richer mouthfeel. A first meeting? Enchanting. The gravitation I feel between you two is palpable. Thank you, I think. All right, everyone, take another sip of this magnificent wine. The great thing about wine tasting is that it's subjective. I taste wet stone, mm -hmm. honeysuckle. I taste grapefruit. Well, you're wrong. It is so empowering being able to experience your love story. <laughs> Um, where did you two meet? <gasps> Manica, you tell it. You know how it pleases me to hear the anecdote of us. I was on the rooftop of my Brooklyn flat, tending to my heirloom tomatoes when I heard a knock at the door. Monica <laughs> was a recycled materials bike saleswoman. You know, cardboard boxes, plastic bottles. She went door to door. He had never ridden a bicycle in his life, but he bought two on the spot because he didn't want me to leave his doorstep. Oh, that's so... And then we took an impromptu trip to Paris the next week. And we've been in bed ever since. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bonded, bonded ever since. So you two have only known each other, what, three years? I suppose, if that's how you measure time. That's pretty much how everyone measures time. Years, such a limiting term. Time and love don't always equate. Absolutely. <laughs> this is our Rosé of Grenache. Fermented in stainless steel, aged in neutral oak. This particular vintage is special to me. Jesus, does this wig come with AC? I'm dying under this bag of fur. If you weren't wearing the trench coat, you might not be so overheated. It's what's under the trench coat that I thought you would be interested in. It's just, I haven't found an organic segue into taking it off. It's a fine silk. What's with the 1950s war widow thing, by the way? I'm sorry, what's up with me, Ishmael? I said the theme was Kentucky Derby. I thought you said Kentucky. <clears throat> the summer I was taking my sommelier level. Two, of course. This wig is gonna give me a heat stroke. Then take it off. 
If I take it off, then I'm no longer Rhiannon. You're gonna give yourself a fever. Becoming the product. Feeling the grapes. Yeah, well, if that's what it takes. What it takes for what? To feel wanted by you. I can feel their sexual vibrancy pulsating through me. What are you talking about? Dr. Goodowitz said that you would act like we don't have a problem. Who the hell is Dr. Goodowitz? Marriage counselor. You've been seeing a marriage counselor by yourself? Well, it's Beth from accounting, but she's taking these classes to become certified. Fucking wig. Take off the wig. Take off your wig. Take off your armor. Do you realize how many couples we know that have gotten divorced in the past few years? A few? Nearly every single couple. Beth and Craig, Cedric and Ethel, Bill and Jeffrey. Bill told me that they haven't had sex in a year. They hated each other. I mean, Jeffrey tried to run Bill over with his Ford Explorer. Look, I've tried every weird thing you've asked. I, I took off work to go to that expensive hotel with the vibrating waterbed. I threw out my back trying M&Ms. s and &M. That too. I learned the Cockney accent for the sex puppets. Oi, governor! Well, I'm sorry that I'm trying to be intimate with you. And these weird things are actually working because those are the only times that you initiate sex. It's because when you do these weird things, I know you want to have sex. May I delicately direct your attention to this bottle? What happens if we're like those other couples, Rufus? What happens when I'm no longer attractive to you and I'm just... It was a stupid idea. Maybe this role-playing thing was just so I could be the Abigail you always wanted. You are the Abigail I've always wanted. Then why don't you show it? When I met Abigail, I was a 17-year-old high school dropout trying to buy beer at the Sitka with my fake ID for some party for I don't even remember what for. As I was leaving with my case of Bud, she was coming in. She was wearing this god awful yellow sweater. I mean, I fucking hate the color yellow, despise it. But on her, it wasn't so bad. So I asked her to the party, and she said yes. And we spent the entire night sitting in the backseat of my Trans Am talking. And we saw each other the next night, and a few nights later, and we don't have some crazy passionate story about tomatoes and bicycles. We're just, we were just two kids that never wanted to be apart. And we still are. Let's go see what's underneath the trench coat. <laughs>